I give the floor to the Ambassador and Permanent Representative of the Russian Federation. You have the floor, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The vote which has took place should not have taken place at all. The sponsors of the just blocked draft resolution were well aware that it simply stood no chance of being adopted. The Russian delegation very clearly and consistently explained that we simply cannot accept a document under Chapter 7, one which would open the path for pressure of sanctions and further to external military involvement in Syrian domestic affairs. The Western Members of the Security Council rejected the, such intentions, but for some reason refused to exclude military intervention. Their calculations to use the Security Council of the United United Nations to further their plans of putting their own pressures on sovereign states will not pass. Instead of uh, stating or leveling insinuations against the policy of the Russian Federation, which for the whole period of the conflict in Syria never weakened its uh, efforts to resolve the situation and provided key support for the Kofi Ashan mission, the Western members of the Council spoke today with unacceptable statements. They could have done something, anything, to promote dialogue between the Syrian parties, to prevent the further militarization of the Syrian crisis, rather to fan the flames of extremists, including terrorist groups. Pushing their own geopolitical designs, which have nothing in common with the legitimate interests of the Syrian people, has led to an escalation of the conflict, one which has, led such, which has reached its tragic proportions. Instead of uh, contributing to enhancing the efforts of the international community to settle the crisis in Syria, as provided for in the Geneva document of June 30th, the sponsors of this project, which just failed, have attempted to fan the flames of confrontation in the Security Council. The draft which was just voted on was biased. The threats of sanctions were leveled exclusively at the government of Syria. This runs counter to the spirit of the Geneva document and does not reflect the realities in the country today. What is especially ambiguous here, this is especially ambiguous in line of what took place yesterday in Damascus. I'm referring to the grave terrorist attack. The Western members of the Council refused to work on the text of the draft resolution submitted by the Russian delegation. Its thrust is to bring the members of the Security Council together to further back the Kofi Annan peace plan and to extend the mandate of the observer mission in Syria. We believe that continued confrontation in the Security Council to be useless and counterproductive and for this reason we will not submit our draft to a vote. In present conditions we could consider it right that the Security Council should adopt a brief depoliticized resolution on a technical extension of the mission's mandate for a specific period of time. It would be useful to preserve the useful potential of the monitoring mission even if it is limited in its time. It is important to continue to have the international community back the special envoys to continue their work on settling the crisis in Syria. Turning now to the political basis of the special envoys work. This remains the outcome document of the Geneva do conference which all responsible members of the international community should be guided by and the Syrian party should also be guided by this. I thank you sir.